Hi guys and welcome down to Craig Sower Golf. I am Craig Sower and today I have another practice drill for you. So this is the last area in my ultimate practice guide. We have spent the summer looking at trying to hit fairways, trying to hit greens, getting up and down and now we have moved onto the green and we are in putting. So over the next two weeks I'm going to show you how I practice my putting and my favourite drills to use to sink more putts. So the guys at Pro Putt have kindly sponsored the putting section of my ultimate practice guide. So if you stay tuned for the end of this video, I have a little giveaway uh, thanks to the guys at Pro Putt and their grips. So stay tuned for that. But now let's jump into my first drill. So the first drill I have for you guys is the pressure putting drill. It's quite a tough one to start with, but if you can master this, then you will not find any short putt that you don't think you can hold. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna find yourself a hole and you're gonna give yourself three foot, six foot and nine foot distances going back. Pretty straight putt I've got here uh, and that's what you wanna do. You wanna keep it nice and simple for yourself. So what we're gonna do is we've got to sink a certain number of putts from each distance before we can move back. If we happen to miss a putt, then we have to come right back to the beginning and start all over again. So give yourself some time for this one. You can just go back to the last station if you find that too hard, but I like to come all the way back to the start and start it all over again. These aren't too longer putts, and if you give yourself a nice straight putt, it shouldn't be too hard. So the number of putts that you are going to hold from each does vary. Um, sort of the easiest I would say you could go is three from here, so three in a row from here, and then one from six foot, and then one from nine foot. If you miss any of those, obviously you have to come back to the beginning. The hardest I've done this, uh, or attempted to do it, it did take me about 25 minutes, is 10 from three foot, five from six foot, and then two from nine foot all in a row. Uh, it can get a little bit frustrating, but I would start small, start with the maybe three, one, one, and then go and add more in once you're finding it a little bit easier. So I'm just gonna see if I can sink one from each. There we go, so three foot. Say I've sunk a couple from there, whichever I've decided to give myself. Now I'm gonna move back to my six foot. There we go, a little bit too hard. So I now have to go back to the start and start all over again. Really good for putting the pressure on these longer putts, especially if you get to about here and you've hit, you know been here for about half an hour, sunk all your putts. And then you get a nine footer and you have to sink it. And if I miss that, I go all the way back to the start. So like I said, can be really frustrating, but it is a brilliant game for those pressure putts. So once you're out on the course and you know you've got a six foot to safe par, doing this drill over and over again, you should find that it will be really easy for you to sink those putts and you won't feel the pressure. Practice putting under pressure is the best thing that we can do. So that guys was the pressure putting drill. Brilliant one to do. Can get frustrating, but once you nail it, really good sense of accomplishment there. Like I said at the beginning of this video, guys, that this is sponsored by my friends at Pro Putt. So I have a Pro Putt grip to give away to one of you guys. So all you have to do guys is like the video, you have to be a subscriber of the channel, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. And you're going to comment below with the longest putt you have made. So hit that comment section up below. Let me know the longest putt that you have made, where it was, what it was for as well. If it was to, you know, save par, make a birdie, you know, double bogey, doesn't matter. Just the longest putt you've ever made. And I will pick a winner in two weeks time once my ultimate practice guide is over. <laughs> and I will send it out to you guys. So until next time, push.